Welcome to my first episode of Grey Mason Gaming, just getting better at Neptune's Pride. This episode's around how many fleets do I have to send to win the battle? And I see this over and over. This is the 28th day in a 64-man uh, altar game, and I'm seeing experienced players still making this mistake, not really just using the simple tools that you have in the game, which is the combat calculator. So let's take this player here, and when you look at this and you click, there's a button right here, and you click on that, it brings up the combat calculator. You can also get to that by clicking on it and hitting the letter C on your keyboard. This will, and if you have it selected, it'll bring up your weapons and your number of fleets. And then you need to look at, okay, I'm at 19 weapons. I'm, I'm 19 weapons, a thousand fleets are gonna attack the star. They, but what you need to do is you need to look at the star you're attacking has 24 weapons, okay? And they're producing ships, ships 3.6 an hour, okay? And the other number you need is how many hours away am I? I'm seven, well, eight ticks. But remember, the last tick of the hour doesn't go into the fight. So you're only going to get six of the eight ticks. So I'm sorry, seven of the eight ticks. So seven. So that's the, then here's what I do. You can bring up a spreadsheet or you can do seven times 3.6. There's going to be another and, and I go on the conservative route 25. So there's going to be another if, or and if I were the attacker, I'd say I'd assume it'd be 26. So there's going to be 25 fleets So the 25 plus the 778 there's 803 when I arrive. So that's the first thing you just need to know how many fleets will be there when I arrive. So 803. So then you say, okay, they're gonna defend with 803, but they have a defense of 25. So if no one gains weapons in that next seven, eight hours, the defender wins with 81. Now that's the big, and that's the magic of the we the weapons. And you don't, when you look at it, you're like, when he launched this attack, he had a thousand fleets going into about 750. So that seemed like a 250 fleet advantage is more than enough. But you need to use the weapon calculator because it's hard to mentally make those changes for the weapon differences. Another example over here, we have um, this fleet almost going to arrive. He should have calculated it from when he started, but you have someone with, again, 21 weapons going into 24 weapons. At this point, he's three, going to get, there's going to be three more because it's three point whatever. And so three times 3.6, bring up your calculator, three times 3.6, another 10 or 11. So another 10, let's just say then 100. So now he's going to go into this. They're going to defend with 25. They're going to have 100 fleets. Defender wins with 16. So use the calculator. And here, let's go ahead and use it live. So what would be the minimum amount I need to send from Guava Still or Bad For You into this star? Well, Scryos has 21. I have 24. Okay. And, and, if, it, and if it's... So then what you can do is you say... Um, the flight time is seven point whatever. So, and he's going to gain 4.2 every hour. So 4.2 times seven, 29, I'll assume he's going to get 30 more fleets there. That plus is 665. Um, so six, nine, yeah, 695 will be where he ends up. Okay. So if I go in, he's got 21 and he'll have 695. I'm at 24. And um, can I send 600? Is that enough? No, it's not enough. What if I, what if I send in 650? Will, I, will that be enough? It would be. So you can go through and just kind of figure out what's the bare minimum. I wouldn't cut it too close. Um, they could, you know, you have to look for will they send reinforcements, but use the combat calculator to figure this out. Assume that they may get another weapons tick. So let's say, you know what, let's, I'm going to assume in that seven hours, they're going to get one more and I won't. So, okay, wow, that changed the battle from a win to a loss. So, you know what, let me just send 675 and then that should be enough even if he gets the upgrade. So use a combat calculator. That's how to compute the math. I hope this is helpful. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, click on the link for the next episode and don't forget to click subscribe for more content.